Hello everyone, I'm Chen Xichang from Fudan University in China. Today I will present our work, Michael Heiko, High Efficient Root Cause Localization in Large Scale Microservices Systems. This work is finished by Fudan University and Alibaba Group. Uh, the first part is the background of our work. Uh, as we know, the microservice architecture has been the latest trend in building cloud-native applications, and more and more companies have chosen to use it. In Alibaba Group, uh, Alibaba adopts the microservice architecture and uh, contains more than 13,000 servers. As a carrier of the business, the system needs to ensure high availability. So the availability issue in Alibaba really indicates the problems with the running of business. For example, the drop of successfully placed orders or success rate of transactions. When an availability issue is detected, its root cause and the anomaly type need to be located in a short time. As we collect 75 availability issues from 22 subsystems of the e-commerce system. Um, we find that the available issue can be divided into three types, uh, the performance anomaly, the reliability anomaly, and the traffic anomaly. Uh, we also find that an available issue can be caused by different types of anomalies, each of which is indicated by a set of metric. And in the second part, I will introduce the detail of our approach. Uh, as shown in the picture, uh, this is the overview of Michael Heiko. Uh, when the ringtime monitor detects an availability issue, Michael Heiko starts a root cause analyze process. It constructs a series call graph of the target microservice system based on the series cause and the metrics. Uh, then we will analyze possible anom anomaly propagation chains from the intentional anomaly service and to identify a set of candidate root cause service. Finally, we rank, we rank the candidate root cause service based on the possibility of causing the given availability issue. The core part of our approach is the analysis of the anomaly propagation chain. An uh, availability issue is intentionally important on the service, as shown in the graph, but the root cause often lies in some of its downstream or upstream service. So we first detect the service anomaly type of the entrant node. Then we iteratively extend the anomaly propagation chain by backtracking along the anomaly backtracking detection and from the starting point. Finally, when all the anomaly propagation chain analysis finished, uh, we report all the service as candidate root cause service. Uh, it's important to, that uh, for diff uh, to different anomaly types, the quality metrics and the anomaly propagation directions that are different. Uh, for example, as shown in the tab and uh, showing the table. Uh, for performance anomaly, we use response time as a metric uh, to detect uh, the anomaly. Um, uh, we and find the root cause from downstream to upstream. Uh, for the different types of anomaly, we train the different models to uh, detect them. Uh, for the performance anomaly, we use one class support vector machine to train a detection model for anomalous response time fractions. Uh, we define four kinds of features for the model and uh, collect 100,000 cases from Alibaba as a training set. Uh, the occurrence of the performance anomaly detection is shown in the table. And for the reliability anomaly, we use random forest to train a detection model for anomalous error count increases. And we also define five kinds of features for the model. Uh, for this type of anomaly, we collect 1,000 labeled cases from Alibaba as a training site. We also show the currency of the reliability anomaly in the table. 
And finally, the traffic anomaly. The traffic anomaly is, is detected based on the anomaly fractions of query per second. Um, we use three sigma to detect the traffic anomaly. This is because the copy has compliance with the normal distribution in both short term and long term. For to further eliminate the false positive, we also check the person correlation coefficient between the QPS value and the business metric value of the internal anomaly service. A uh, main challenge in anomaly propagation chain analysis lies in the expansional growth of the number of possible anom anomaly propagation branches. Uh, so we uh, designed a uh, pruning strategy uh, in our approach. The pruning strategy is based on the assumption that the two successive edges in an anomaly propagation chain have similar change trends of the corresponding quality metric. Uh, in this way, we can speed up the uh, efficiency uh, for our approach. Uh, finally, when all the anomaly propagation chain analysis finished, we run conduct root cause based on the possibility of causing the giving ability issue. Uh, we use a piercing correlation coefficient to measure the similarity of the change trend. Uh, of the two anomaly index and the rank and connect the root cause service by the correlation coefficient. Uh, it sh should be noted that the anomaly index of the intentional anomaly service is some kind of business metric. Uh, for example, the number of successful orders, while the anomaly index of a conduct root case is some kind of quality matrix, uh, for example, the response time. Uh, in the final part, we give the evaluation results of other approach. Uh, we conduct a series of experimental studies to answer the following research question. Uh, and the research, co research question one and two uh, are the localization of currency and the efficiency of our approach. The third is the effect of the pruning strategy in our approach. We use the top key ratio to measure the currency of the root cause localization method. We also compared with the two baseline approach, one is rank and the microscope. And so in the table, uh, we is the results of the location, localization of currency of microhacker and the baseline approaches. We can see that the head ratio of microhacle are higher than other approaches. Uh, so the microhacle can significantly outperform the, the baseline approach in terms of all these metrics and anomalies. Uh, for the localization efficiency, uh, we find the time cost of microhacle is much less than the, than the baseline method. Uh, Michael Heckel outperforms the baseline when the number of services exists uh, 250. It shows a good scalability. Uh, finally, the pruning strategy. Uh, we can see that the pruning strategy can significantly improve the efficiency of root case location while keeping the currency. Uh, we also found that, uh, as shown in the picture, we need to find a trade off between the currency and the time cost. Uh, finally, we give the conclusion of our work. We propose a high efficiency root cost localization approach for the issue of microservice systems, which has been deployed in Alibaba for more than five months and using the, to handle more than 600 availability issues. And the currency and the efficiency of microhackle have been confirmed by both experimental study and the practical application in Alibaba. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Okay, welcome to the question answer session. I am Mika, I am the session chair, and we have sent T here to answer all your, all your difficult questions. Uh, okay, current chat seems to be empty, but I have one to get us started. So, is this data available somewhere? And then I have a follow up. Is there any sort of public data on these microservices available. I'm thinking mostly about my thesis student that might want to do something like this. Oh, so uh, this data are not uh, 
open to public uh, right now because uh, all, how, all of our approach and systems and the experimental is finished in the Alibaba group and then inside their company. Yeah, so they have some concern about uh, their um, business privacy and uh, security. So, so this data and the code of our system is not uh, valuable to, to open to some open source platform. And um, I think we, we will try to discuss with our partner uh, to find some way to open this data and code to help more researchers and uh, uh, someone who interested uh, also can discuss with, with um, our, yeah. Uh. And is there any any public data on this sort of microservice root cause analysis? Sort of like a baseline data where you could compare your approach against. Do you know any public repository on this type of data? Mm, I don't know some public data, but the, uh, uh, our lab have a benchmark system, the twin I, I think some uh, researchers focus on the microservices. They uh, have some knowledge or the, uh, about a, a system. All they uh, already have used the system systems. This system, system is uh, posted uh, about two or three years, and uh, many people and many research have done over this system. system. In, this, in this system, we uh, we can collect uh, they can collect the trends and the metric and the logs to um, uh, to design their approach about the root, uh, root cause analysis of the anomaly detection. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, did you and you mentioned you had the competing approaches there, uh, the current state of the art. Uh, did you re-implement those approaches, or did you just use their public code repositories, or, or how did you do that? The comparison. Uh, you mean the business uh, baseline method? No, I mean, the, you compared against the state of the art. So, did you re implement those state of the art approaches or were they available from, from GitHub? Uh, the monitor rank and the, and the mic microscope approaches. Yeah, we, uh, we followed the way, uh, compared this method uh, with our approach and we uh, have implemented them this method in our way and in, inside the Alibaba group. So we don't use the, any uh, open source code. Okay, okay. So also the, also the approaches are sort of closed as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, then I have a question about the, you mentioned that you have 75 availability issues, but then later in the presentation there is suddenly appears like 1,000 issues. So what, what is the 75 and what is that? Then then there is suddenly 1,000 something. Then I got lost there. Oh, I think you mean the, the 1,000 issues is not the with the availability issue. The 1,000 may be the uh, performance anomaly uh, cases or the traffic anomaly cases. It's not the availability issue. Maybe some mistake. Uh, okay, because then the numbers sort of changed, and I was I was a bit confused. Now, first you had seventy five, and then there was one thousand. So, yeah, well, our experimental is uh, uh, dependent on the seventy five available issue. Yeah, but our in our approach, we have three anomaly detection measures. Uh, this measure uh, trained this, this model, and this is anomaly detection model are uh, trained based uh, on some other. Uh, uh, data is, is about the uh, query per second of the response time. Uh, and for this anomaly, we have more more cases. Yeah, maybe 1,000 and uh, more, yeah. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Uh, okay, so... So what I understand is that while you co you can basically construct a graph based on correlations, is that right? Uh, yeah, the core graph is uh, the core relationship between the microservices. Right, right. So, so it's a correlation graph and not really a call graph, or is it all? Or is there also elements of call there? Uh, 
uh, I, I don't hear you clearly. I, I think yeah, it's because I, I, but I'm saying that you have like system logs where you see that okay, service A is calling service B, or is so it purely correlation based? Uh, the pure relationship with the RPC call of the HTTP uh, call in, in the system is uh, collected from the tracing system, not the system log. Okay, so so it's from yeah, but you but you have the links also in the let's say in the trip from the tracing as well. Yeah. yeah. So so I was thinking since you use the correlation, is it sort of based on the, and then you then you only select the highest correlations for the for the pruning, right? Yeah. If I understand correctly, right? So, but. Uh, did you consider the situation that the correlations might be dynamic? So that in, let's say in some time interval, there might be high correlation between two services, but then it might not exist in some other times. So it's so it would sort of be, the system would sort of dynamically change based on the... Yeah, we, we have uh, we have thought about the dynamic changes. So so the correlation shape between the microservices, we use the data uh, to, uh, of, uh, uh, use the data last uh, the nearest uh, 13 minutes in the alarm card. So the relationship is the uh, news, uh, newest uh, uh, relationship. Yeah, but we we, uh, we have not uh, considered uh, talk about some cultural relationship or, or others. Yeah, we oh, okay. only the core relationship in the 30 minutes, uh, nearest 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, and from what I understand is that you have anomalies of type traffic, performance, and reliability. Um, have you considered any other types like security or network or, I don't know, something else? Uh, yeah, we have considered some other anomalies, uh, for example, the database or the data persistence or some uh, uh, or some other other things, but uh, uh, the other anomalies uh, we we find it hard to uh, find the features or, or some other things in the system metric. So so and then this uh, in our paper, the three types of anomalies is uh, most common in Alibaba group. So so we only focus on these three types. Yeah, I think uh, other types we maybe uh, do some research in the in the later. Yeah. Okay. And uh, who did the labeling of these? Uh, like who did the ground truth of that this is the root cause and this is the anomaly type? Well, the labeling is finished by the, our partner in Alvala Group. They're uh, engineers in the different departments. We collect uh, many data and uh, they give, 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 us, give many helps. Yeah. Okay. I actually don't have any more questions. We have 45 seconds until the discussion room. Yeah, yeah, until the discussion room yeah. opens up. But yeah, I was a, it was a nice paper to read. Uh, I wish there would be, let's say, public data and public code. So that's sort of, you know. Yeah, I, I will try to do this. I will discuss it about academic, yeah. It would sort of accelerate the academic progress in this field when there would be like baseline, baseline yeah. data, baseline approaches and things like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so okay. I invite everyone to go and chat with Chen Jing in the in the back room. <laughs>